Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. Today we'll convert the built in 2D project into 2D URP project. We click on the window and go to the package manager. Make sure your search space is set to Unity Registry. Then simply search for Universal RP. Once the project shows on the list, click on it and then click the small install button. After a few seconds, URP will be installed. You can close the package manager. Now in the project window, I create new folder and call it URP. Time to create the URP asset. I click right mouse button, go to create, rendering, URP asset with 2D renderer. I call the file URP asset. I'm opening the project settings by going to edit, project settings. I click on the graphics option and then in the input for scriptable renderer pipeline settings, I select our URP asset. In the small pop-up, I click continue. Now from the list on the left, I select quality and in the rendering section, I set the URP asset as the render pipeline asset. Once again, I click continue. And just after that, I close the project settings. Now we need to convert our materials. We can do it by going to window, rendering, render pipeline converter. We check the checkbox and click on the initialize converters. After that, we click on convert assets. In my case, everything succeeded, but sometimes you may see some errors or warnings. Sometimes it will be enough to restart Unity and try once again. However, not always. There might be times when you will have to do some manual steps. Those may be specific to the materials and shaders you have. For example, here, I created simple shader using the shader graph. If I try to upgrade the material that uses it, I will receive a message that there's no upgrader to convert this shader. But there's very simple solution. I create new lead shader graph by going to create shader graph URP lead shader graph. Then I copy and paste all of the nodes from the regular shader to the URP one. I reconnect the final output of the nodes and save the asset. Now I simply change the shader that the material uses. Now we'll need to generate the lighting settings. We do it by going to Window, Rendering, Lighting. In the new window we click New Lighting Settings. We can close the window. Now in the hierarchy we click right mouse button, go to Light and select the Global Light 2D. In the inspector we can select which sorting layers the light should target. And we are done. Have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.